On today's video I'm going to show you how you can make really quick last minute Christmas cards using a card making technique that is really easy. Hi everyone, it's Amanda here, welcome back to my channel. A few months ago I made a video where I show you how to create handmade cards really quickly using the smooshing technique. Since you all really liked that video, I decided to create a Christmas version of it. So we will be making Christmas cards using the smooshing technique, a stencil, which is actually an optional step, and a die, sentiment die that you have. That's all you need, so let's get started. Here you have some of the supplies I'm using today. I'm using these dress inks, three colors, and of course you can use any colors that you like. I'm also using a 9 by 12 inches piece of watercolor cardstock. I'm also using sentiment dies and another die that is not a sentiment. I didn't mention that before, but you can skip it if you want. And also a stencil. I didn't find my holiday stencils. I have no idea where I put them, but I'm using a regular one and it seems to work just fine. Now what I'm doing is applying the color on a non-porous surface. Then I will be adding lots of water and then I will smoosh my piece of cardstock on top of it. From here on, all you have to do is build up the color on your cardstock. You do that by creating layers. So we first apply the color. When we are happy with how things look, uh, we dry the first layer. You're going to need a heat gun for this because if you don't have it, the process is going to be longer since you really need to wait until everything is dry to apply another layer. So we're going to dry it, then we are going to continue building up the color the way we like it. And the fun of this technique is that you never know uh, how things are going to turn out. My recommendation is to always keep going, even when you think you think that it doesn't look very good. Just give it a try and keep moving with the, with the layers. And then the possibilities are endless. I mean, you can do a very light background, a very bold background. You can play with different colors, different textures. I think this is one of my favorite techniques. And it's really quick because with this piece of cardstock, I can make four cards. And I don't know, I just find it really, really interesting. I hope you also like it. Remember that all the supplies that I'm using are listed below the video and also in the first comment you will find a link to the visual supply list in case you have trouble finding a product just by the name. Now if you are interested in a product and you decide to buy something through my links, I will get a small commission at no cost to you and that helps me a lot with keeping my channel going so thank you for that. Here I decided to cut the piece of cardstock in half for practical reasons because it's easier for you to see it on camera. And also those drops that I'm using come from a reinker bottle for the distress inks. These drops are really intense in terms of color and I like it because that way you get kind of contrast between a lighter and a bolder color. So that was the smooshing technique. You can see that you get a really interesting background, but if you want to add even more interest to the background, what you can do is uh, use a stencil. But here is the trick. We are going to use the exact same colors in this exact same position that we used it before for the background, because we are not trying to make this drawing from the stencil pop out of the background. We are trying to make it blend with everything that we did before. So it's kind of subtle, but it adds a little something. Now, as I said, this is a completely optional step. If you don't want to do it, I think the background looks pretty awesome on its own. 
So once everything is ready, we get four backgrounds for our cards out of that one piece of watercolor cardstock. Now I'm using a die to cut this out, but if you don't have one like this, you can just use your trimmer. Just make sure that you cut it a bit smaller than your card base. I'm using a standard card base. And I'm saying this because it is nice to have a white border around it. Now the only thing that's left is to get our die cuts and arrange everything together. I'm going to be using foam to attach the background to the card base and I'm also going to be using foam squares to add dimension to the sentiments. Then as a final touch I will be using sequins and that's going to be it. And that's how these cards look like. As you can see, I only made two cards, but you can make four out of that piece of cardstock. And I just hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching all the way until here. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!